than fire the client because you okay, were I'm a, talking about recruiter. something different saying look you I don't like this person okay I don't care about yeah, their, but why would you, you know, do this is dumb like yeah, but this is dumb you're yeah, in business like you should you, yeah, Rich, it doesn't matter whether you like me. people or not who who are you with here I'm always looking for you to agree with me okay <laughs> <laughs> and what, what was your what was what was your stand on this uh rule this? him out say look I have to present him because he's got what but I think you're not going to like this person and I advise you to hire candidate yeah. a instead what do you again what's there's, your take? there's no black and white answer you can't say this is yes for everything but i i have told clients i'm looking i'm presenting this guy because if either one he'll go around me <laughs> and i'll tell the client that but two i didn't this is what i didn't like about him you decide for yourself and some clients will just like forget him i'll just knock him off and that's it other clients will be like all right listen let's talk to him i'm like here's all the skills he's done here's the good the bad the ugly i thought he was a jackass but you know there that's know. pretty straightforward i thought he was a oh. jackass. And here's the issue Andres mentioned before. He says, I will tell them because I don't want it to come back uh, on me that I didn't warn them. My my contention is that even if you warn them, they're going to come back and say, uh, we want, you know, you something was wrong here. I, I, had, I had it happen years ago for a company. The, uh, the, the, the Basically, I told the client, I, I mean, I told the client, don't hire this guy. I'm not going to give you the warranty. The, and I sent an email saying the warranty is invalid if you hire this guy. If he quits day one, you still owe me. Did you had replacement candidates in, from you? Oh no, no, no replacement. If no, I told that. him I was. No, I no, was no. Not. Did you have several like the 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 the, the no, second that's choice? Not, that's, not the, that's not the point. I it, it, I said don't hire my candidate. Like I don't like the guy. Is it? It was a it was a British company. I was like this guy's a jerk. The VP. And I told this to the, I sent it to the email to the VP of sales and the CEO, and the VP of sales basically told me to screw and I'm hiring him anyway. I'm like all right, do what you want, but the zero warranty. They literally fired, they ended up firing the, the candidate like 30 days into it. And they fired the VP of sales about 45, day, 15 days later. And we ended up going to replace both of them. <laughs> but it was still, <laughs> I did my job. I was honest. I told them the truth so I can sleep at night and they do what they want. You know, I couldn't be any more clear on why not to hire that guy. Yeah, but you presented them like when it was like you liked him. So you presented him and then you're yeah. like, okay, oh, I hate this guy suddenly. Well, I don't understand. Well, there's a lot of things that can happen in a, in a period of time. I, I, this was going back 15 years ago, but I remember, I mean, I, I, kept, I just, the guy was a flake. I didn't particularly like him. It was one of these guys. I'm pretty sure he would go around me. You know, I told him. See, that's this an is what issue. You have to present them because if, if they're yeah. a, a, a bad person, they will go around you. Okay. Yeah. So, and, you know, but then it, but in the, the end of the day, I want to tell him the truth. This is what I thoughts are. And, you know, and then throughout the course of the conversations, I just disliked the guy more and more. Not not because he was a jerk to me. I just knew the guy was a lying sack of crap. And it wasn't, okay. you know. That's so. direct. Okay. <laughs> Call him as a team, baby. <laughs> <laughs>